welcome back to Let's Play Gato Roboto. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, last time, Dr. Heinrich stole Gary's body. Oh, I see what they did there, I think. Oh no! I can get back to the safe room! Nice! I just assumed I wouldn't be able to go through. I'm sorry about your dog, but... Oh dear. Why do you have that? I have to take out Gary's body in order to stop him. Ah! Shit, that was hard. Uh. Sorry, Gary. No! This can't be how it ends! Of course he doesn't, you idiot! He's never seen Gary before! Oh. I can move again. The suit doesn't work. And I can't get out that way because there was a door on the uh, other side. Where are we going, Barkley? Nice landing. Huh. I guess we didn't save Gary. Well, in that case, rest in peace, Gary. Achievements unlocked. Why is it like this? 
save the animals. Finish the game. And... Perfectionist. Finish the game with 100% completion. Gary? <laughs> So there's more people from the publisher listed than from the developer. Tell you what, I'll just t stick that stuff onto the beginning of the uh, credits video. Because that's what this is now, the credits video for Let's Play Gato Roboto. Yeah, I didn't think that would be very long. I did it! I defeated Dr. Heinrich, and technically, I saved Lieutenant Gary! Even if he is a rat, now. Um... I'll say this, this game was not perfect. Uh, you know, there were some parts where it was really difficult and, uh, like, overly difficult, I mean, like, too hard for what I thought they should be. I wasn't crazy about the, uh, I like how Kiki moves around when I do that. I wasn't crazy about, uh, you know, some of the things I pointed out, like the, the gun upgrades weren't very exciting, uh, the map could have been significantly clearer on certain things, and, uh, holy fuck, the boss of the aqueducts. Like, Venser's prodigy informed me that, uh, let me take a look, actually. Yeah, the achievements I didn't get. Uh, Danger Cat. Finish the game without collecting a single health upgrade. Speed Run. Finish the game in under one hour. And uh, one hidden achievement. I guess this is the one. Venser's Prodigy told me there's an achievement for completing the Heater Core before you complete the Aqueducts. You know, for sequence breaking, basically. But, um... I find it kind of funny. The aqueducts is, space, is sort of the first region they sort of shoot you into. Like, I think that's the way you're supposed to. You're meant to play the game. Just move that out of the way. And uh, I can't see it because up here there's uh, the little miniature HUD for my recording program. I just find it so funny that I beat the final boss on my first try. <laughs> I really did learn from all those other ones. I took a bunch of hits I feel like were unnecessary. But I mean, I beat the final boss on my first try with one hit point left on his second form. How great is that? And that's compared to taking uh, 16 tries in total to beat the, uh, the boss in the, uh, in the aqueducts. Yeah, that should have really been rebalanced, I think. I suppose it would have probably been easier if I, if it turns out I can uh, just fire endlessly in the uh, submarine before I get to the uh, the uh, the repeater upgrade. But yeah, one hundred percent, all the upgrades. I go here, it's a bed. I can't I can't scroll over to the map or whatever.
I'm trying to get up. What is this? Thanks, Gary. I'm glad you're all right. Uh, yeah. Even if you, uh, don't really look like yourself anymore. Oh, I like that it's the rat that I hated. I guess this is the, uh, escape craft. That's funny! I really like that! You know, I, I said those complaints earlier, but overall, I actually really enjoyed this game. When it wasn't being frustrating, I was having a great time with this game. Just the sense of humor is silly without being, you know, flippant. Uh, I found uh, Lieutenant Gary's uh, constant, uh, you know, encouragement just really nice, actually. Kind of heartwarming. And, uh... Like, I really felt, oh shit, no, this can't be right, when they kidnapped him. Uh... Really makes me wonder how he kidnapped him, though, given that Heinrich is in the body of a mouse, but whatever. Um... I thought a lot of the, uh, the, the room layouts were very clever, the fights, the fights were good, and while I wasn't impressed with the, you know, the, the creativity of the upgrades, I did really find the, uh, the shooting satisfying, particularly once I got the, uh, the uh, repeater. Uh, and the whole thing with, you know, being able to change the color palette, that's... There we go, I'll just leave it on this one for the end of the series. I really enjoyed this. So I feel like it could be improved. But, uh, and I feel like, you know, the, the, the issues in the game would have weighed on me more heavily if it had been longer. But, uh, you know what? Just a moment. I'm going to go check how much this costs on Steam. Okay, so it's eight ninety nine Canadian. Uh, yeah, I'd say for that price, this is, a uh, you know, it's short, but for that price, I'd say it's worth it. And, uh... Yeah, I feel like it had its issues, but uh, I don't know if they, they in, you know, this game feels like they intended it to be a one-off, like they're not going to come back to this, but, you know, just for the sake of argument, I feel like everything that I didn't like about the game could easily be, you know, smoothed out in a sequel, so yeah, I would absolutely be interested in playing more Gato Roboto, and uh, yes, I do recommend this game. I mean, if you're just like a casual fan of Metroidvanias, maybe not, because again, the bosses are surprisingly hardcore. But, uh... Especially the one that we all hate. And But, uh... Yeah. I, uh... do recommend this game. Since that's a question it always comes down to. Do I recommend this game? Yes, as long as you're willing to put up with surprise difficulty spikes. Um. So yeah, that'll about do it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and on behalf of myself, Kiki the Cat, Lieutenant Gary, the rat, and uh, Barkley the Dog, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Gatto Roboto. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I hope you'll join me for my next series. And once again, 
Uh, a very special shout out to my good friend Spartan Demon, who gifted me this game. I had a blast! So thanks, dude. And, uh. Yeah. Till next time, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!